Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your weekly read. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius from the 17th to the 23rd, or quite frankly, whenever you come across it, because the date is irrelevant. We're all on different timelines. This is little Delilah. She's a little spirit guide and mascot on the channel, and she sits here while I do this and tolerates me doing that to her for my amusement. So I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget about the two situations. Don't give your money out to anybody at all on the internet that contacts you. It's on you to contact me. My information is in the box below. And please, there's some kind of hellish situation with these buttons and bells. So if you can find it in your heart to ring some of them, that would be really great. I'd appreciate it. And I'll thank you ahead of time. Don't be a garbone. That is to say, sharing is caring. So I encourage you to take only what resonates with you, only if something resonates. Leave the rest to someone else. Uh, we are gender neutral, even though I may say he or she, that means nothing. And uh, we do read reversal, so here we go. So with an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Sagittarius. Hey, Sag, in case nobody told you today, Delilah, and I love you, all right? Here we go. Show me what Sag needs to see, please, and thank you. Show me, show me. Okay, Sag. The chariot. All right, well, something's coming at you fast. I'm hearing this Katy Perry song, like a dark horse. Coming at you like a dark horse. I don't know. Okay, but listen. Cancer energy. Something's coming at you fast. You're going at somebody fast, Sagittarius. Like a dark horse. Okay, we don't want these. Hold on. Can I please just have like, yeah, uh, can you do this normally? Please and thank you. There you go. So you have seven of cups. It's a lot of options, a lot of different ways. This is also contemplating which way and which cup you're going to choose. Uh, at the foundation, you have a knight of cups. So this is somebody who may be younger. It's, it could be some kind of a, somebody could have came in and offered you some kind of emotion. Maybe you offered somebody emotion, water, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. It was innocent. It was friendly. Whatever it was, it was trustworthy. Could have made friends with somebody, right? Could have been just a friendship. Some kind of mutual. Oh, this is an ace of swords. All right, so here, ace of swords. This talks about some kind of truth, some kind of breakthrough, some kind of triumph, some kind of conquest crowning you. So, yeah, these are the facts. Now, Mink, you have a nine of cups in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse talks about some kind of truth or, um, yeah, some kind of truth coming out. It's about, well, yeah, Mink with the Ace of Swords and the truth. You really got the truth coming out. It could be about somebody's loyalty, too, or somebody's feelings for you. It's going to be about somebody's feelings for a lot of you. There's the truth coming out about somebody's feelings. Nah, 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 nah. This is what I'm hearing. Wow. Show me. This is, it's going to make you happy. You said you got the Seven of Wands in reverse. So you're going to be perplexed by this, to say the least. Yeah, this 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 is a card you could be perplexed. Perplexed, you said. It could cause you a little anxiety, too. I just got to tell you. Whatever this is. <laughs> wow. I see somebody standing there with their mouth, like, wide open. <laughs> I really, yeah. Show me what's in the, um, yeah, in the environment, please. Thank you. In your actual environment, you got a four of wands. So there's stability. This is Aries energy. There's harmony, prosperity, peace in a situation. Right? Somebody could be exchanging gifts with somebody else. The number 1111 11 is of significance here right now. Clear and ground. Hmm. Show me. You have the four of pentacles. So holding back. This is spirit's advice. Hold back a little. Hold on tightly. Don't overshare. Don't overgive of your emotions. Don't overgive of anything you have materialistically. Uh, just hold back. Hold on tightly. Some of you could be getting an inheritance as well. Oh, yes. Some of you are getting an inheritance. Listen, Sagittarius, this is Aquarius. This is a star. This is abundance. This is prosperity. This is hope for the future. Beauty. Brilliance. It could be a little vulnerability. Aquarian energy. Sun, moon, rising of Venus. So if you're getting some kind of money, some kind of inheritance, hold back on it. Your, your stability is right there, though. You're right. It's right. In, yeah. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, you got a seven of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles talks about investing effort. So you will be investing effort in something. So even if it's holding back. Even if it's holding back. Can I have clear and concise clarification? Sagittarius. Please and thank you. Here we go. 
Give me three for this chariot cancer card. Okay, well, that one definitely wanted to come flying out, right? Two more. Oh, boy. All right. So, Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse talks about some kind of contradiction or difficulty, people contradicting you, um, or some kind of difficulty in the situation. You also have the Nine of Wands, so that's success, though. Whatever this contradictory um, energy is that's giving you some kind of difficult time, you're going to be successful over it. So there's something coming in that's, you know, maybe contradicts something you said, something you did, or something somebody else said or did. But whatever it is, you're going to be, uh, you're going to successfully overcome this. I'm hearing you're going to have the some kind of proof to show. I don't know what that's about. Some of you are going to have some kind of, maybe a text to show that, something like that. Uh, something about some, oh yeah, you're going to have some kind of evidence to show. Whoever this is contradicting something that you said, there's going to be some kind of evidence to show that you... You got these swords in your back. There was some kind of painful ending. Okay? But you're going you're gonna to overcome this, whatever this is. And then this is a lot of different options. But being very discerning. Making sure you pick the right ones, not settling. Um, so, you got the hermit. So, this is Virgo energy. This is taking time to go and love yourself as if you would um, love the one you're with, I'm hearing. Love yourself. Uh, getting to know yourself, taking all your experiences in life and all your uh, wisdom, and putting it into the lantern, and then following your own light. Maybe even helping others at that point because you've got that much knowledge and experience. Um, this is toxic, period. The devil. Now we have Capricorn energy. So the Hermit is Taurus. I mean, the Hermit is Virgo, and the devil is Capricorn. This is any toxic people that are around you. Um, this is any toxic behaviors that. You, oh, here goes the nervous. Uh, any toxic behaviors that you might be experiencing, like maybe, you know, addicted to sex, drugs, rock and roll, even being addicted to your phone or gossiping, people trying to manipulate you or you trying to manipulate people. We don't want all that. No, we don't. Here we go. Show me this devil. Show me this devil since we got to get clear with you, spirit and ancestors. The Queen of Pentacles. So it could be somebody that's a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Uh, somebody who's financially stable. Somebody who's strong, hardworking, brave, um, smart. Could be a business person. They have their own business. Organized, reliable, and responsible. So now what's this Nine of Cups at the foundation? Was it pages? So somebody's watching you. Somebody who's watching you, okay? Set the foundation. So you might be past it. You might be coming into it in a minute. Depends where you are on the timeline. But Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody who's keeping an eye on you. In one way or another. You know, somebody younger, somebody, yeah, it could be a nosy neighbor, a nosy co-worker, a nosy friend, just some people that don't know how to mind anybody's business, but they're wrong. And they take the information and they, they don't tell anybody that they're doing it. So somebody's doing this like in sneak. Could be somebody watching your social media as well. Just trying to get all the information. Oh, I mean, look what we got. So you got the Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse talks about some kind of false heart. Or some kind of, um, could be somebody violent, somebody who uses emotions to manipulate. They lie about their emotions so they can get you to get emotions and then they can manipulate you with them. You got a three of cups in reverse. Three of cups in reverse talks about some kind of an achievement or the end of something. Like you finished it, you achieved it. Could also be some kind of expedition. You know, some of you might be traveling. And you got the hangman in reverse. Uh, you know, the hangman in reverse is, um, is talking about somebody who's very selfish they only care about the way they look at things. They don't even want to, like, think about how other people might see things. They're, they're very, like, closed-minded. Uh, you got this breakthrough coming through that's going to, though, it's crowning you. Some kind of truth is coming. Breakthrough, conquest. It's going to make you feel triumphant, right? Now you have the Knight of Swords. Link. These are all flipped. So we're going to turn these around. There's just too many of them. But this Knight of Swords, this is some kind of, um, some kind of information coming in, obviously. Now... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this Knight of Swords is somebody who's um, very fast-moving energy. So this is happening quick. Um, it's somebody that's skilled, brave, very straightforward. They're very articulate, and, um, you know, they're in for a good time, but not for a long time. It's air. It's got to move. It's got to circulate. So it's not, it's a very in-and-out energy. Show me. So you can have some kind of breakthrough about... You can get some kind of truth about somebody that, that behaves in that manner, right? Here we have two of swords. Maybe you're in denial. Maybe you don't want to see this. There's some kind of denial involved in this. There's something you don't want to see. Because you're purposely not looking. Like, maybe you don't want to see it. Because once once it's seen, it can't be unseen. And then you have to accept it for what it was. And, or what it is, I'm hearing. And uh, 
you're going to have to take responsible for doing the right thing. You know, because then if you don't, it's on you. That's what I hear. If you don't, once you see something, you know, you got the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles talks about stability, attention. Some of you could be getting some gifts or giving some gifts. It could be, you know, prosperous right now, especially with the sun here. This is Leo energy. This is, you know, full abundance, happiest card in the deck, being illuminated by something, but being gifted uh, abundance, love, wealth, warmth, family, happiness. I mean, you name it, right? That's like paradise. And I'm here living in paradise. What? What? Living in paradise. Is that a song? I don't know. You got this nine of, cu nine of cups in reverse. So some kind of truth. About somebody that's Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, financially stable, hardworking, abundant, reliable. Didn't we have the king, the queen of queen? You got the king and the queen of pentacles. So this could, yep. Yeah, look at that. Could have been your soulmate. This could be your soulmate or your twin flame, something like that. Oh, I mean, what's the king of pentacles doing here? How many king of pentacles? Okay, the seven of wands in reverse. Okay, so again, some kind of perplexity. This is going to perplex you. This is a, you know, like, yeah, perplexity. Or some kind of anxiety. This is giving somebody Aja. Mm, yep. Show me the seven of wands in reverse. Clear Greg, give me, give me the seven of wands in reverse, please, and thank you. All right, well, you know what? This is the one that's on me to take. So... The lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. So, you know, the lovers talks about some in reverse, some kind of failure to make a decision, some kind of foolishness, um, being very undecisive about things. So what do we have with the seven of wands in reverse now? This perplexity again, because it's coming in right next to each other, in case you didn't notice. You got the seven of wands here and the seven of wands here, both in reverse. So there's some kind of, there's something that's giving... You a lot of anxiety, you're perplexed, you're not wrapping your mind around it. This is what I'm hearing, Sagittarius. It could have something, you're going to have to detach from something. Maybe you have to detach from something or someone and, you know, this is why you got this anxiety. Maybe you couldn't make up your mind about it or somebody else couldn't. I don't know. Let's see. Show me. Eight of Cups. What are we detaching? This is like my fed up card. I had it and I'm done. Take your cups. I don't want to tell you what to do with them, but you can imagine. And I'm moving on. I'm trying not to use foul language anymore. I have a mother that yells at me. A little old Italian mother that yells at me. She watches the videos and then she yells at me. Cursing. So, yeah, there's that. Even at my old age. Here we go. <clears throat> eight, of, eight of cups. Yeah. Can I please? Thank you. You got an ace of wands in reverse. So some kind of failure or ruin. Something something that was destroyed or ruined or there was a failure in some kind of a situation. Show me. Show me this ace of wands in reverse. What's this doing here? What is this? Uh... Show me this ace of wands in reverse. Okay. The wheel of fortune in reverse. So I'm feeling like this is some kind of um, some kind of abundance or an increase that you're going to get. Now, with the Ace of Wands in reverse right next to it, it could be something that failed in the beginning, but now you're going to, you know, there was some kind of failure, but this failure or this mistake, this foolishness, which I'm hearing was actually a stroke of good luck. Because it's not that the Wheel of Fortune isn't turning in your favor. There is an increase, there is an abundance, but maybe it's just not going to be as much as you had hoped for. Um, so, like, let's say, for example, you were going to get, you were hoping to get $200 back on your income tax return, but instead you get like 150 something like that, you know? Show me the seven of ones in the room. Show me. Again, the seven of ones in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Cups. So you're gonna get some kind of information. You definitely are. There's some, gonna be some kind of some kind of news or information coming in for some of you. And uh, it's the four of swords in reverse. So we're talking about um, you know, the four of swords in reverse is telling you to be careful. It's a caution card. It's telling you to just, you know, proceed with caution. 
Now, you got a Four of Wands here. Again, Aquarius, the star. So, beauty, abundance, prosperity. You're, you're leading out with this. So, it's in your environment. So, whatever this cycle is, you're almost done with it. Because, so again, some kind of um, inspiration, uh, prosperity, abundance. It's going to bring you to some kind of stability. Enough abundance to make you stable. Just enough. Just enough. That's a little bit. Just enough. That's come kind of song too. I could hear it. It's like an old disco song. Just enough. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, show me. Show me this this uh, star card now. That's in our environment. And we're holding on tightly. Whatever abundance or happiness this is, whatever inspiration this is, you know, verve to go, you know, a forward head on is... You're holding on to it. And well, you should. Spirit's telling you to. It's your abundance. You work for it. This is your time. That's what I'm hearing. This is your time. Good for you, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody that has Aquarius in their chart, something like that. Um, you might have Aquarius in your chart. If you don't know your chart, go over to like Cafe Astrology and they do it for free. Just put in your information. All right, that's what we like, poppers on this channel. So now you got an Ace of Cups. So Ace of Cups talks about joy, happiness, and contentment. So whatever this whatever this inspiration that's coming in, whatever this divine intervention, whatever this prosperity, whatever this new lust for life, this is what I hear. Uh, you're going to be very happy with it. It's going to make you very content. Now you got this Four of Pentacles. Well, no wonder why you want to hold on to it. I mean, that makes perfect sense, right? Show me. Come on, a couple more. Let's go. That's way too many. What goes on over here? This one we will take. You got a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. This could be somebody in the military of the law. This is somebody who's um, very, very articulate, very smart, very well organized, um, efficient, yep, powerful, skilled, brave, and straightforward, honest. So that's how you just how it is, whether you like it or not. That's what that is. Here we go. Why is this King of Swords here? What is this character doing here? What is he doing here? So I think I let I read out all the uh, signs, right? I see Gemini, I see Leo, <clears throat> Sagittarius. I think you're here. What else do we have? Yep, Aquarius. Four of cups. So weariness and disgust. Uh, not being satisfied. Not being grateful. Just nothing's doing it for you. You're just completely, uh, it's a very blasé energy. But there is Scorpio energy coming in, Scorpio and Aries energy, death coming in to shake it up and shake it down. Something's going to end and transform. Hmm. Something's going to end and transform. That's the death card. Doesn't mean somebody's actually passing away. It just means something's ending and something's going to be reborn. So if one door closes, another door opens. That's how that goes, right? This one. Two of Pentacles. So weighing your options and a need to balance. Whatever this ending is, you're going to be weighing yourself out, bouncing yourself out after that. Uh, I'm hearing recalibrate. Recalibrate. I don't know what that means, but... Okay, so something fast. Something's coming at you fast. Uh, cancer energy here. This is a chariot. And uh, it could be a King of Wands in reverse, which is, you know... Not such a great energy. It's fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The king is usually Leo. In reverse, this is somebody who's very severe in their actions. They can definitely commit infidelity. They're jealous. They're deceitful. They're dangerous even. They're egotistical. You know, it's their way or the highway. One of those. So be careful. That energy can be coming at you really fast. And that's maybe why you had to balance yourself out. Hold on. Back. Hold back again with this four of pentacles. Isn't that what we had here? Yep, four of pentacles. This is Spirit's advice, and, and Spirit's being very serious about this. Hold back, especially from this distorted energy here. This is going to wind up... Uh, oh, look what it's going to wind up doing. Uh -huh, what did I tell you? It's going to wind up giving you the five of swords. Swords in your back. So if you've got somebody coming at you, a king of wands in reverse, you'll know. Uh, it's like a narcissist. All the way. Because what, what are they doing? Hold back from this person, you're going to get the swords in your back. Well, not only the swords, but they're going to rob and steal from you. Oh, my God. And it cause you all this stress. Listen. Do yourself a favor. Do you see this? I never usually go back in the cards. So something guided me to do this. Hold back from this energy because they're going to put the five of swords in your back 
which is all kinds of aggression and uh, conflict. And then they're going to put the seven of swords in your back, which is stealing. This is my card of premeditation, plotting your death, even. Plotting your death, I'm hearing. What kind of stress are you going to get? Be the queen of wands. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's usually Aries, but strong, assertive. Use your head over your heart. Don't let this person come in and do this to you. Me. Look at these cards. I mean, who needs this? God, Sagittarius, come on. I'm rooting for you. You got a child or somebody that's really childish involved. Yeah, it's that King of Wands in reverse. Number 18 or number 9. 21 or 3, there's a family room involved here. It's the worst family room I've ever seen in my life. I did, would you want to sit in that? Really? Does it look comfortable to you and warm and inviting? No, it looks like the coldest place on earth. I'd rather go sit on the porch. Seriously. Where's the family? That's what I want to know. Where is the family? I don't know, Sagittarius. Just asking. Asking for a friend, right? Inquiring minds want to know. And a family room has no family in it. It could be something that, that has to do with the courts here. Number 30. Judication. Don't you like that word, judication? I don't know. It makes it seem... I don't know. Whatever. Send me some cards, Kippa. Yeah, let's go. They got 18 or 9, 21 or 3, and then 3. Come on, Kipper, give us some more. Okay, we got them. Somebody could be holding uh, you in high honor. That means having a lot of respect for you. You could have a lot of respect for somebody else. Or there could be somebody in the military or the law involved here. 25 or 7. Now, you have 38 or 11. Toil and labor. This could have something to do with... The work that you do, 16 to 7. Somebody's got a whole plot of land in somebody's head, and they don't even pay like a dime for it. So, renting free space. Really. Well, free space for free. 16 or 7. So, let me see what we have here. Uh, well, okay. So, I got 3, 3, and 21 is 3. Hold on. We got another card that's flying away here. And 3. So, 3, 3, 3, 3 is your angel code. If you go put that in Google, it will tell you something. 37 or 10. Somebody could be in poverty, unemployed, hungry, and with no shoes. Definitely homeless. Taking the animal. Taking the poor little dog. Look at the little dog. Looks like it's a lila. Oh, that's a rat. <laughs> well, okay. I need to up my glasses. I thought that was like Delilah. Could you imagine poor Delilah? I don't mean to call you a rat, baby. It's 37 dollars <laughs> She's the best dog in the world. Do you ever see another dog that does this? The other guy, Tiberius, he, he wouldn't even let me put a hat on him. He would bite me. Number six, which is two derivatives of three. So three is very significant. Mature woman involved in this. And 22 or four, an official person. Now, we're going to get you some of these uh, things that people want to say, and they just don't get them off their chest. I will never understand this. I lost myself for a little while. Just say whatever the hell's on your mind. What do you care what anybody thinks? You'll feel better. Nobody needs to be carrying that load. That load gets very heavy after a while. I wish I could share my good news with you. Yeah, well, then open your mouth. That's what I'm hearing. Open your mouth. I love you unconditionally. I'm starting to understand our connection. Now, I love you. Here we go again. I love you, I love you. I love you unconditionally. I understand our connection, but I don't want to open my mouth. Oh, my, my. Go to the tower reader on YouTube so she can tell you. I left when I saw you with someone. Uh, I am becoming a better person. What else do we have here? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Well, that's a good thing. I am afraid to contact you. Well, that sounds like a personal problem to me. And uh, anything else here with these hidden truths? Okay, here we go. Last one. I regret lying to you. Well, don't they always? I mean, the timing just wasn't right for us. Bull shit is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. Let's get you some Whispers of the Ocean oracles for my Aquariuses. Here we go. You know, we got life is better together, number four. Seek assistance from your community. Connect with family, friends, or others who will support you. It can be as simple as making a phone call. Yep. Okay. 35 or 8. Help appears in various ways. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get... So adrift, you forget to look to the support systems that are with you continually. Then you have 25, distinctive potential. Rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. Yeah, do that. 
do that. That's good. Looking for the underbelly, number six. Be sure that you are using your time in the best, it's called tenacity. Sorry. Um, using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you are working on could use some fine tuning. And then total submersion, number 32 or five. Don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find that your life, you may have find what your life has been lacking. This one fell out, so we have to take it. Leaping through the air. A plan you have made is on track. If you are waiting for something to get to work, Stop putting off ideas or projects you are considering. All right, so now I'm going to get you some Moonology, and uh, this is also going to come with uh, some more signs that might be involved other than what I've uh, called out here. So here we go. I think we're getting better at keeping the cards neither. That's an accomplishment. Aquarius, a time to give rather than take. New Moon in Virgo. Wow, Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. You have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full Moon in Cancer. You also have work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Scorpio again. Now over here we have. Breathe in the impossible. Blue moon. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Surrender to the divine. The full moon. Cancer. Don't let your past hold you back. South node and Taurus. Anything else? No, that looks like it. Oh yeah, fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and at that, I am leaving it. We also have Mars at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, and Aries. So thank you so much for enjoying me, Sagittarius. And always remember, leave it logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy because it is an illusion. And trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.